In this video, we're gonna be using a new soap by Ariana and Evans called Revolution and a Philharmonica one quarter hollow straight razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. And if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm your host CDB. Uh, today we're gonna to use, as mentioned before, Revolution by Ariana and Evans and the Philharmonica quarter inch hollow, which I recently acquired off of eBay, and we're just gonna get right into it today. We're gonna to start misting. Again, this is just plain water. There's no special elixir in here. We're working on about 23 hours growth today, as you see there. Uh, we're gonna start with our PAA pre-shave cube, which I really enjoy using. Again, links to the products that you can buy below if you are interested. There we go, just a little bit of that PAA cube. And that thing is huge. It is eight ounces and it's like uh, 6.95 or 5.9, something like that. Good value. So, a little bit about the soap. The scent on this really is not for me. Um, to me, it comes off like, sort of like lemon cookie and vanilla, but there's something else in there that I just, some of it smells good to me and some of it doesn't. Um, but mostly I get lemon cookie, vanilla, and then something that I just don't care for. Let me put the notes there for you. This is one of those scents that's, it has a lot of scent notes in it. It just does not come with, um, together well, in my opinion, in a way that it's pleasing to me. You know, sometimes I'll say that artisans, um, they put a lot of stuff in things and it just, it feels sort of, um, uh, messy to my nose, it, it muddy, it doesn't come together well. This is one of those soaps for me that scent wise, um, it's just not, I just don't care for it. The quality, I can tell you right now, it's gonna to be top notch. Um, this is the Kaizen base, which is absolutely uh, fantastic. Uh, one of the things that I would point out about this soap is, it doesn't say anywhere on here Kaizen, Kaizen and I would like to see the base on the soap, so that way we know if it's the new base, it's a, if it's the old base, because it's gotten to the point where artisans reformulate so much that you don't necessarily know what the base is. And so that's, in my view, something now that's important to add to the label. Uh, I do like the artwork. I think that's very cool. The quality is gonna be excellent. The price is quite good. I'll put up our cost scale there. This is comes in at under $4 an ounce, which is a good price. And some of the ingredients in here are really, really, nice for me, you know, the goat milk and all that kind of stuff. I think that lends itself to a very good lather. This is a high quality soap and base, no question about it. The scent, just not for me. There's too much stuff going on. It's not cooperating with my nose and I don't care for it. So this one, I just scraped out a little bit just for the benefit of using and telling you about, and then that will be uh, given away. <clears throat> I did buy that from Ariane and Evans, by the way. Um, okay, we're gonna get started today with our Philharmonica. My voice is a little scratchy, so I apologize for that. So we're gonna try to do better and be mindful <laughs> of our technique today, starting with rolling that razor in. Again, this is an eBay edge, so you never know what you're gonna get, but it felt quite sharp to me when I was doing just a little bit of testing. And that feels nice so far. Very nice. One of the things that I've been trying to remember to do that I'm doing a poor job of doing is taking longer strokes just to test that out. And I just, I'm so accustomed to using choppy strokes that it's just hard for me to do. And so today I wanna be mindful of trying to use longer strokes. And on the neck there, uh, it feels okay. It's not superb, but the edge feels okay. And as you can see down there, that's where I got myself yesterday, not paying attention. So we'll try to avoid that mistake. Today, that was 100% me. Tech technique means everything when using straight razors, it really does. You need a slick soap, but any old slip slick soap will work. Um, if your soap is slick and your technique is off, you'll cut yourself. I don't care if you have a, you know, $10 per ounce soap or a 50 cent per ounce soap. All right, here we go. 
And let's get in here and try to use some long strokes and just see how we do with that. Okay, the razor feels good. Um, this razor is not in perfect condition, but it's in good condition. This blade is fairly heavy, being only a quarter hollow. Um, I'll throw the model up right there for you. But I, because I can't remember off the top of my head the actual model uh, of this razor, but I've always wanted a Philharmonica, and I saw this one for a very reasonable price on eBay, and so I said, let's go for it. And I do like it. This one has some good heft to it. It doesn't feel like a Dovo 5.8 or something like that that uh, you would buy today. <clears throat> it's a really nice, it's got some good heft to it, which again, I enjoy. Okay, let's mist here and uh, get ready for our second pass. Um, one of the things I want to mention also about this soap is the ingredients aren't listed on the website. They are listed here. And so I will, uh, I'll take a shot of that and put it up on the screen for you. I would like to see this information both on the website and um, on the label itself. So that way when people order it, they'll know what the ingredients are. That, those are just nitpicky little things. I will say that the shipping price and fulfillment has gotten better uh, at the uh, <clears throat> Shaving Shop Club. So Pete's done a great job with that. And I've heard some complaining about... Um, things being out of stock. And right now this soap is, is out of stock. But stay tuned because Pete is making more. So he didn't just make one batch of this and he's going to walk away from it. He's continuing to make things. He's trying to put everything in the uh, in the Kaizen formula. And it's taking a little time. So if you're a member of the Shave and Shop Club, make sure you follow the, uh, or make sure you join the Shave and Shop Club VIP group on Facebook and help Pete will post when things are in stock and when he's releasing things. Cause I know some people are, are upset because they haven't been seeing things in stock, but you know, Pete is working on that part of it. So be patient and you will get it. Again, this is not one of those soaps where he just makes it and walks away. It's a one time only run, but he only makes so much, you know, in a particular batch. And so once it's sold out initially, it's going to come back. So don't worry about that part. Um, you can get these products eventually. It might require waiting a week or two or, you know, so on and so forth. But they're worth the wait, in my view, in terms of quality. You're not going to love every single scent from any artisan. All right, switching gears here a little bit. I want to talk about a little bit about a video that uh, Todd from Take Care Man made. And essentially, it was uh, how to get support. So <clears throat> several members of the community recently have, you know, had some rough times in their personal lives. And they've been reaching out to folks, myself included. And <clears throat> many people have really tried to talk to them and, and help them to the degree they can. But folks, please keep in mind, a lot of us are just regular people. I'm not a therapist. I'm not trained to to help anyone with you know, uh, mental health issues. Um, I don't have that sort of training or education. And so I can lend an ear, I can say a kind word, but I'm probably not equipped to really give you the type of aid that you need. And I also have limited time like everybody else. I have my own personal life and problems in my own life and everything else. You know, I'm uh, just a regular guy like everybody else. I have my own troubles. And so, you know, we all have to be cognizant of the fact that members of the community have limited time. And so I know of at least one person, and I think two, who are, have been enjoying the hobby, but they've had to spend so much time assisting people that it's become a problem in their personal life. So in other words, Helping other people with their problems has gotten to the point where it's become a problem in their own life. And so what I want to say is, please watch Todd's video. And Todd has created a Facebook group just for talking about support 
for many, many issues. And there's a place you can lean on some folks. And I think it's a terrific idea. And I thank you very much, Todd, because we discussed, he and I discussed this too, uh, because quite frankly, it got to the point where a couple of people mentioned uh, to me that, you know, have, did I cut myself there somehow? Maybe I did. I don't know. I did not see that I did that, but maybe the maybe the corner dug in on that first pass. I guess I did. I didn't notice that I did, but I did. <laughs> anyway, the point is, some people have been worn out. Um, and so Todd is trying to cr create a group so people can get the support they need because everybody wants to help to the degree they can with people in the community. But also keep in mind that many of us aren't mental health professionals or marriage counselors or substance abuse counselors or... And some of the people in the community have those same problems themselves, so they're not necessarily in a position to help. And so, um, please, I, I encourage you, if you're going through a tough time, be it health problems, marriage problems, substance abuse, check out the video I'm going to link below from Todd, from Take Care Man, and consider joining that Facebook group where they'll, they're you know trying to build a support system for people. And on the same token, try to enjoy the hobby, you know. Enjoy the hobby for what it is, which is nice, great people having fun. Primarily, I'm in this to have fun. You know, that's the number one objective. I do appreciate the relationships that I've made and things like that. But I want to be having a good time. I don't want to be bummed out all the time. Um, because again, you know, we, we all have issues we're dealing with. I have, you know, family members with ser serious health issues and and all sorts, all sorts of problems to deal with personally. And so we all have a limit as to how much we can have on our plate. And so I do this personally as a getaway, as a way just to immerse myself in another world and just enjoy these fantastic shaves. And so I hope you will join me in trying to enjoy the hobby, <laughs> you know. And so I hope, I hope you'll consider that. Uh, another thing I want to mention is Marion the Barbarian. I'll link a video below, below, excuse me, where he did a uh, appreciation video for Diamond Dave Card, who's one of the great straight razor and shave shavers, and has personally taught me quite a bit. And Marion wanted to show some appreciation, so he's doing a giveaway. So I encourage you to go to that video and... Uh, Listen to what he has to say and figure out how to join that giveaway if you are interested. Uh, Marianne is a guy that I've gotten to know uh, some over the last, I don't know, couple of months. And he's a terrific guy. New to making YouTube videos, but a uh, terrific guy. And he's going through some tough times too. I'm not going to share, you know, I'm not going to air his, his laundry, so to speak. But he's going through some tough times too. And, and he's in this hobby also to try to enjoy it. Uh, but he's had to lean on some folks too. And, and don't get me wrong. Sometimes you got to lean on people. I have, you know, and I'm not saying you shouldn't, but please get the help you need. If you're in a position where you're feeling suicidal, uh, emotionally down to the degree that you're having thoughts that are, you know, not good ones, please reach out and get the help you need. I can't, I can't emphasize that point strongly enough. Take advantage of what Todd is offering, um, please. Okay, back to shaving, enough of that. I can't believe I got my, I think I got myself with the corner here. So that's two days where I've got myself. So tomorrow we'll bring a DE shave to you and then we'll get right back on board with some straights after that. I don't even know how I did that. So it'll be interesting when I go back and make the minor edits to the video to see where I actually got myself, because I don't know. Uh, this weekend, I've got some things lined up. One is I'm going to be um, talking with John from John Shave Shop on Etsy and recording a little uh, 
interview session, let's call it, or chat between he and I. So if you have any questions for John, who hones straight razors and does, you know, most things related to straight razors, please uh, comment below. And uh, I usually put together questions. And of course, Leaf, I'm also working on. So be mindful of that. Also, Friday, uh, uh, So Sharp David and I do the Real Talk um, live Instagram. So if you're interested in that, come check us out Friday, this coming Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time for some real talk. And we'll talk about some of these subjects like I'm mentioning today and some of the things we've discussed on our channel and just stuff that's going on in the community. I wish I knew how I got myself right there. I have no idea, but right there, I definitely got myself. So once again, once again, we can't call this a great shave, but honestly, I don't even know how I did that. Yesterday, it was clear. You know, I was just, just wasn't paying attention. I think I might have got myself with that corner. I'm not sure. That's one of the reasons I really like the Barber's Notch razors, too. They're sort of rounded, so you don't have that tendency to dig in with that corner, which I think is what I did, but maybe we'll figure it out when we go back and, uh, and do our minor edits. Okay, let us wipe this blade off. I really enjoyed shaving with this razor today. I'm probably going to send it to John, John's shaving shop, just to clean up a little bit. There's a little rust around the pin area, and I want to get that cleaned up. Magnificent razor, I must say. Okay, let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we're coming in with the PAA alum with Dry Dock. And I've been talking about this. And let's see if we can close that little nick up today with the alum block. The rest of my face doesn't actually, uh, not much stinging going on. So that was a pretty good shave in terms of not being rough. I feel it down there where I got myself yesterday, and I feel a little bit right here. So I much, must have really dug in with that uh, with that friggin' <laughs> point. So either I can mute that point or just get better. You know, technique is really what it comes down to. You need to be better, and that's all there is to it. So each shave, I try to get better, and sometimes I take a step backwards. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the dry dock so far is working wonderfully. So I haven't been wiping this off, and it's... It's not getting crusty because it's drying out. Some uh, gent also commented on my video and said one of these would make a good a good way to keep artisan uh, bar soaps. Like if they made one of these that you could put the artisan bar soap in so it could dry out because, you know, that being porous. So, so far, this is working magnificently in terms of not getting crusty. And I'm about a little under a weekend. Okay, let me rinse this off and we'll come back and finish the post. Stay tuned. All right. Back with the Lancaster Tell. I'll put up the graphic there because these are going back up with along with some other items this coming Saturday. So check the graphic there. And if you want one, that will be the time. He's made a good volume this time. So hopefully a lot more people will get a chance. And I'll be there after a blue one myself. Let's uh, get some witch hazel going. And that alum seems to have closed up that nick. So that's great. It's really not a serious nick. Just another careless error of me not being cognizant, I think, of where that point was and just digging in. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll see it when I uh, when I do my edits. This is uh, Thayer's Witch Hazel in this bottle, which again, I have a link to below. And you can actually buy the Thayer's in a spray bottle, which I think is a much better way of applying it than it running out of your hands, just my perspective. The soap was Revolution. Uh, by Ariana Evans. The quality, first rate, absolute thumbs up. The scent, not for me. Too much going on. It, it doesn't feel like a symphony. It feels like a lot of people beating on a lot of different instruments, not in tune. That's how I would describe the scent. But more times than not, I like Pete's scents. This time, it's just not a winner for me, but it is a great quality soap. Um, the brush, also the Ariana and Evans brush, which I like to use when I use Pete's stuff, which is pretty often now. <laughs> uh, fantastic uh, brush. That's a synthetic knot. Absolutely love it. And of course, we use the Phil Armonica, which got me a little bit there. But today, we're going to close it out with another club offering. This is El Gaucho, the Splash. And uh, I don't know if Pete still sells El Gaucho in the club. 
Uh, maybe he'll bring it back in Kaizen. I don't know. I like the scent of this. It's very, very nice. All right. And we are ready to get on with a magnificent day. Thanks to each and every one of you for joining me. Uh, and thanks big time to the, for those of you who come every single day and share some time with me. I can't thank you enough. It means the world to me. So I'm reminding you, I'm your host, CDB. It's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.